This is going to be a quick video how to route different parts of the Drumlab plugin of Native Instruments in PreSonus Studio 1.4. Not the artist version, because that won't support VSD plugins. When you're in Studio 1, you have to load the Contact 8 Out plugin into a track. You don't have to load the Drumlab already, but you can do this process with Drumlab loaded, of course. First, you have to configure the outputs. On the top bar, Contact Player, Below the controls of Studio One, on the right side, next to the status screen for your CPU, disk, memory and loaded samples, you find four pictograms there. The one looking like a 90s website is the one you should have. This controls the layout. You can select the output here. This will open kind of mixer section. Normally, you will find one stereo and four auxes. You will need to create new output buses here. Press on the add sign next to the outputs and this will open a new window. Add like 6 or 14 tracks. This depends on which plugin you load, the 16 out or 8 out. Be sure to hit the make this your default configuration box, so it will load it the next time you load the contact player. You need that because you have to restart the plugin to make the tracks visible in Studio One. First name the tracks, it's always good practice to name your tracks. I pick kick, snare, hi-hat, tom 1, 2 and 3. And then save it again in presets and batch configurations. Now remove the track and instrument in presonus. And reload the contact 8 or 16 out plugin. Now you have to configure studio 1. If you open the mixer with F3 or the button in the right corner and open the instrument tab, the button is on the left side, it's called Instr. You expand the contact 8 and tick the boxes you just created. They will now appear as faders in your mixer. Now you can finally load in Drumlab. You have to route everything to the desired channel. On the kit page you have the pictures of the different parts of the drum kit. On the right bottom side corner of each of these pictures you have a dropout box. Here you can select the channel for the created for this part. Config all the channels and you're good to go.